Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. We're making our way from Port Canaveral and Disney Wish to Walt Disney World and a three night stay at Disney's Boardwalk. So as a part of our epic 23 night visit to Walt Disney World and our Disney Cruise, this is Resort 4 of 5. We are spending three nights now at Disney's Boardwalk Villas. I think you know the routine by now. Oh yes, I'm gonna take you on a very comprehensive tour of the resort plus our studio villa. And of course, we're gonna to eat together, we're gonna to drink together, we're gonna to sing together, we're gonna to laugh together, we're probably gonna to cry together. Are you ready for this? I think you are. Let's go. And after a 50 minute transfer, we made it. Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Villas have a prime location. You'll be within walking distance of Epcot and Hollywood Studios and transportation by Disney Skyliner, Friendship Boat and Motor Coach. Right, let's check out the lobby. I hope it smells nice. Oh yeah, it smells nice. Very subtle scent in here actually. I'm trying to work out what it is. It looks like baby powder. <laughs> now we're staying in a studio. So we'll be heading towards the Vacation Club Resort later. Love the colors out here. Beautiful. How gorgeous is this? Oh, we're gonna have a good time here. Show place of the shore, a vacation sensation. Matthew was saying, I'll be the judge of that. We are well and truly on a boardwalk, of course. Why would it be called boardwalk otherwise? Right, so three nights on Disney Wish, sailing the Bahamas and we're now here at disney's boardwalk having a bit of a pool day waiting for our room to be prepared oh you are damn right i'm going on that a really nice space actually lovely pool i believe the disney vacation club wing has its own pool as well so we'll check that out later and the leaping horse libations bar and it offers snacks as well grilled cheese by the pool what a lush I am. Oh, Matthew's got a treat. What is that, a fruit punch? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's it like? Nice. Nom, nom, nom. Holy hell, look what else he's got. Look at the size of that monster cookie. All right, this is the Carousel Coffee Shop, which has caused a lot of controversy, actually, online. Apparently, it's not deluxe enough. Thank you. I actually quite like it. <laughs> and I got a nice coffee within about 10 seconds, so... I think that's good going. And there's also a seating area just out here to the side of the lobby. I think it's nice. Alrighty, well after quite a long wait for a room and having to go to reception to remind them, uh, it's a long walk to the room, only to find we can't get in. Uh, let's try again, shall we? Alrighty, we are staying in the DVC wing, so that's the Disney Vacation Club wing. Uh, we are on the fourth floor and we have a beautiful view of, well, a tree. Um, <laughs> and I think the Swan and Dolphin. We are 4019. Magic Band, please do your thing because you didn't work for me earlier. Here we go. And you are cordially invited to come and have a nose around our studio. Alrighty, so as you come in, there's good amount of floor space actually. We've just popped our luggage here. We have not long arrived. There is a decent sized mirror on the wall directly opposite the door. Now, as this is a DVC studio, uh, the room comes with its own kitchenette. This is actually uh, larger than the one we had at Saratoga Springs. Uh, if you have a one, two or three bedroom villa, you're going to get a full kitchen, you lucky people. Oh, and a laundrette of your own. So we've got some cupboards up here. Uh, I'm quite short and I'm only just reaching those. Now you don't get proper cutlery and crockery in a studio, I'm afraid, but you do get your plastic bowls and cups and cutlery. And up here, we probably got, yeah, kitchen towel and there's some storage space as well. The studio kitchenette comes with a microwave oven. You've got a toaster. The refillable mugs do not come with your room. Um, you can grab them from the deli. They're $21.99 each, and you can refill as much soda and hot drinks as you want for the duration of your stay up to 14 nights. Sink basin and all your washing up products, etc. here. Uh, this is actually quite a good size. It's a shame that there aren't more sort of facilities to make food with. There's plenty of space here. You've got your coffee maker and of course your Joffrey's uh, resort blend, God bless you. 
two US sockets here and down here we have the all-important fridge. I think this is a good size and actually the question online very often is does it come with a freezer compartment? Well here at the boardwalk uh, it's small but it still constitutes a freezer compartment plus um, an ice cube tray. Fabulous. And then under the sink, we've got a trash can. Oh, we've got two trash cans. One for your recycling and more paper towels here. And they have the kitchenette. Very handy indeed. Um, we've got an old age <laughs> AC unit here. My God, I haven't seen one like that in a long time. Feels like they need to do a bit of upgrading to um, some of the rooms at the boardwalk. There's a Matthew over there being a very good boy, sat nicely, being quiet. Uh, <laughs> right, so welcome to the bedroom area. Um, well, we had a much larger bed than this at Pop Century. However, will the linen be better? Will we sleep better? I doubt it. A large mirror on the wall next to the bed. One thing that is a little bit disappointing is that there's no bedside unit uh, on this side. That's my side of the bed, what am I gonna do? Um, so you've got no sockets there to charge your devices. There is one unit the other side of the bed. Uh, we've got a shelf here and a drawer with the Holy Bible. Thank you, Jesus. And hopefully, yes, we've got two US sockets here and two USB ports as well. Okay, so that is the bed. Uh, I'll let you know how we get on with a, a good night's sleep or not. And opposite the bed, you have your good sized television, I must say. Uh, there's a table here, two chairs. This is going to double up as a Murphy bed, I hope. Haven't actually seen it yet, and I don't know what the um, artwork is, so I'm excited to reveal that shortly. Um, we've got a shelf over here and a unit. This one is age old as well. It's sort of rattling as you open those uh, cupboard doors. And we've got four good sized uh, drawers in here as well. They are definitely a bit uh, difficult to open. I think they've been here for about a century. Did I just say century? <laughs> Century! I do apologise. Uh, the main thing, I suppose, is that there's a good amount of storage space. You also have two US sockets just next to the drawers as well. Okay, over here, I've already shown you this unit, um, but you've got two more US sockets, two USB ports to the left-hand side of the television and exactly the same to the right-hand side. So I think in terms of sockets, socketage, we've got ample. It's just a shame that there aren't any next to that side of the bed. Right, here's Matthew trying out the couch. He's just told me off because um, in America, we don't say sockets, we say outlets. And I'm really, really sorry about that. Okay, um, good size table, good size couch. Matthew says it's comfortable. And if he says that, it's bound to be true. Okay, because he always speaks the truth. Uh, nice bit of wall art there, some sort of fairground rides. Um, and this obviously turns into a sofa bed. I mean, the couch, not Matthew. He's not an actual sofa bed. No. Right, let's see if I can operate this Murphy bed. Do I press these first? Does this work? Oh, I don't know how to do that. No, I think you might have to press the other side at the same time as me. Right, well, you do have to actually have two people to <laughs> operate that. Oh, look who it is. You'd think it's a real elephant. Hey, Dumbo. Okay, so there's your Murphy bed. Let's pan out so you can see what that looks like. Because as we know, angles and perspectives are everything. Obviously move the chairs out of the way, folks. Goes without saying, doesn't it? And you do need two people to operate those buttons. Um, unless you've got really long arms and you can um, have one hand in each one. I don't know. Um, but there you go. This room sleeps four quite comfortably, I would say. And let me tell you, this furniture is without doubt scuffed. Uh, it is in need of a refresh desperately. Sorry, Disney. Sorry if you love these rooms. I like the room, I really do. But even the carpet is really frayed as well. Um, it needs a refresh. Anyway, let's head out to the balcony. All right, it's the height of summer. It's August. Let's hope I don't steam up. Oh, we're okay. Right, so welcome to the balcony area. Um, interestingly, there's no table out here, even though there is room. We've got two chairs. Our view is of the swan. I uh, can just see the river over there. Big tree, we love big trees. Um, rubbish down there. It's not the best view I've ever had, I've got to be honest with you. And it just, I don't know, just 
just looks like it needs a bit of a, a scrub and a clean. What do you reckon? Have a look. I don't know. For me, this, and look, everything is just so scuffed, dirty. Look at that. Hmm. Alrighty, and a look at the room from this angle before we head to the bathroom. What do you think, folks? I'm not sure this is screaming deluxe to me. It costs a lot of money to stay here. Are you just paying for the location? Okay, so we have uh, a sink basin here. This is a good space, actually. Lots of storage space um, if you use this as a shelf. And we look like we've got lots of, yeah, cupboards and drawers. We've got a hairdryer. Uh, oh, that's a massive cupboard. And then I suppose you've got your trash can here. Still storage space if you wish to use it. Another drawer, another cupboard with your bog roll. You can never have too much. Horrific close-up mirror so you can see your imperfections and then make the decision whether you need to have facial surgery or not. Um, this is a nice mirror, actually. I like all the uh, beveled, bubbly effects there. Two more US sockets here. And you have storage space in the guise of, I suppose, a, a wardrobe. Uh, extra pillows and blankets up there, taking up all the shelf space. Uh, lots of hanging space here. You've got your safe. And this does go back quite some distance. You've got an ironing board all the way back there and an iron. That's not actually very easy to access, I've got to be honest with you. Um, this door pulls across. Just about, there you go. All right, so not bad in terms of storage space. Let's head into the bathroom. Now, our bathroom in Saratoga Springs was actually really very nice with um, glass panel, sliding door uh, for the shower. It was quite modernized. This one is not. <laughs> I mean, I think our bathroom in the moderate resort, uh, Port Orleans Riverside was pretty much on a par with this in terms of the, the layout, the space, the clingy curtains, uh, the very, very old fashioned uh, shower head. So in the new modernized rooms, you actually have Disney products on the wall now. They're in big tubs like this, uh, big dispensers. Uh, these are the old, not so good for the environment, disposable ones. So look, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it's supposed to be deluxe. I don't think that's a deluxe bathroom myself just kind of put that out there and what a racket that extractor fan makes and there you are that is my very frank honest tour of a deluxe studio at the boardwalk what do you think am i over the top am i now going to get dragged across the internet because i have been negative about this room this uh room is deluxe it would cost you thousands of pounds to stay here for a number of nights. We've used our DVC point, so it hasn't. Would you pay a lot of money to stay in this room is the question. You see, that's gorgeous. The resort is so much nicer than the feel of the rooms. Oh, it's all going on down here on the boardwalk. You get juggling, lady. Right, we're gonna try and get a drink in the Abracadabra before we head to Epcot. So the Abracadabra serves bar snacks. And then you have your choice of handcrafted versus featured cocktails, or you could just have all of them. Why choose when you can have the whole lot, eh? <laughs> this is a very, very cool bar, by the way. Cheers, Matthew. Mine looks like it's pure booze. I've got the Pepper's Ghost, which is pineapple vodka and habanero lime. That nice one, Matthew? Yeah. Sour. What's it like? Sour. Just like Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Holy sh... Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. It's really fiery. It is strong. <laughs> Oh, this makes up for our room. <laughs> the location is awesome. There's so much to do on the boardwalk as well. Love it. Alrighty, let's see how long it takes to walk to Epcot. Well, I think that took five minutes. How awesome to be staying on the doorstep of Epcot. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow.
Sorry, I'm getting it really geeked out now, aren't I? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Rush Hour on the Boardwalk. It is breakfast time, and I thought I would just share with you the dining options available to you on the boardwalk. Right, you are sport for choice here. This is probably one of the reasons why it's a deluxe resort. You've got the Big River Grill and Brewing Works. On the boardwalk, Thimbles and Threads is the general store, so you can get all sorts of groceries there. As we saw yesterday, just next to the lobby, you've got the Carousel Coffee Shop. For that fine dining experience, you've got the very well-renowned Flying Fish. The Abracadabra does serve some small dishes as well. Boardwalk Joe's for not just margaritas, but also some uh, light snacks. You have the Boardwalk Deli. Snickerdoodle muffin, bigger than my head. The Boardwalk ice cream for all your ice creams, sundaes and shakes. There's a pizza booth as well, so you can get your large slices of pizza. Coming later this year as well, you've got the cake bake. The Trattoria al Forno, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times actually. Thank you. Alrighty, here's a peep at the breakfast menu at the Trattoria al Forno. Looks good and just a little bit different for Disney as well, which I appreciate. Oh, iced coffee. You can keep your sweetener. That is one Mahusiv Kahuna pot of coffee. We got cream, oh yes. No chin chin, Matthew? No. No? Coffee. Yeah, you could do it with coffee, no? No, he's having none of it. I'll do it. Cheers, Matthew. I know this might seem unholy, but I've been ever so good this holiday, really. I've got a breakfast pizza and it looks and smells divine. Pizza for breakfast? Yeah. Damn right. <laughs> pizza explosion in the mouth. Matthew has the eggs anyhow which way what way you want with bacon sausage and potato just a small stack of pancakes <laughs> live kitchen we love a live kitchen I think we agreed that was one of the more successful sit-down breakfast options on the whole of Disney World site absolutely and let's not forget you have easy access to the Swan and Dolphin with all their restaurants and bars you've got the Yacht Club the beach club and you've got epcot just around that corner so as far as dining options go i think this is very difficult to beat oh hey friendship boat don't forget you can take one of these friendship boats around the lake to the other resorts but also it will take you to epcot if you don't fancy the walk and it will also take you to hollywood studios if you don't fancy the walk don't forget, Surrey Bike Rental right here on the boardwalk. You can go round and round and round and round in the heat. It'll be fabulous. Alrighty, so apart from the fabulous boardwalk entertainment, you also have Jelly Rolls, which is a dueling piano bar. I'm hoping to go there tomorrow. And the Atlantic uh, Dance Club. It is indeed a nightclub. Alrighty, back at the boardwalk. And we are in the DVC wing area, which has really nice quiet pool. And it comes with its own hot tub, a giant chess set, table tennis, lovely quiet pool, bit of cornhole. Who doesn't love a cornhole? It's so quiet here. Lady in the pool, heard you. So we don't have a, a mini laundrette in our room, unlike the one, two, three bedroom villas. This is the laundrette. It's probably the <laughs> smallest and dirtiest we've seen on any property so far come on boardwalk you can do better than this there is a complimentary gym to use on site no thank you i'm going on a boat epcot here we come again we love epcot look at this lovely lovely gorgeous resort here she comes Welcome to our friendship bar. Love friendship bars. Well, would you look at that? We're back in the UK. All freshened up and ready for the evening ahead. We are going to Jelly Rolls, a dueling piano bar. <laughs> Here we are. Entrance fee is $20 each. Ouch. Write your requests for the pianist on a napkin. Run it over. Oh, I 
love this song. It's so holiday. It's pizza time. Pizza in bed. What a lush. Super slice. <laughs> And there you have my tour of Disney's Boardwalk in a nutshell. The theming of the resort is excellent and the location superb. With so many dining options here, you're pretty spoilt for choice. However, this is an expensive resort and we expected a lot more from our room. This was in fact the worst room we stayed in of the five resorts on Disney property. We much preferred the rooms in the moderate resorts and even the value resort. Now that is saying something. We absolutely will not be back until all rooms have been refurbed. Thank you all for your continued support and today's shout outs go to my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, just search patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon and YouTube.